Very excited to get bounced back today. Uh, get a very, very quality win against a great program in Austin P and, and a great rival. Uh, excited about our way our guys. Uh, we got off to a little slow start, uh, but after the five to five, uh, we, we responded well. Uh, played well in spurts, scored off our defense. I thought Zay Jackson gave us a good spark defensively today, and um, Stacy was good. You know, I just talked to Stacy about if we take those turnovers away. I thought he had a really solid, solid game today, and then Zay made some big plays, and it was good. It was a good team win. It was a, it was a good rebound game for us today. Um, and now we got to move move on and get our sights set on a very very good SEMO team. You know we've got SEMO and Tennessee State in our league right now are playing as good as anybody, and uh, we got to be ready for Wednesday. You know I just told Coach Luce and he was like, all right, that's enough apologizing because I had I apologized about 20 times. So uh, I think it was way way overblown, without any doubt. We've had some bad situations in college basketball, and it's the coach's job to make sure that everybody does right. That was what I wanted to do. Got teed up for it. You know, and then, you know, a spark or two flew, but both teams, we got a lot of respect for them, and that's why the last thing you'd want to do in this rivalry was anything like that happen. Right after that, a second later, coaches were fine, players were fine, but, you know, I call it a technical. It up, no tip oh. off the glass and in by Yushan. There's your blue and gold dagger. Good night, Cassie. 82 to 63 racers, three on the way, no good. Final score. Um, we got after it. Um, you know, we were just motivated. Uh, we, we, we very rarely lose at home and uh, we let one slip up. So uh, we knew coming in that we were gonna have to make a point and uh, prove a statement because um, we don't ever want to have that feeling again. It always feels good to win. Yeah. 
Uh, it just so happened to be a, rob a big robbery game after a tough loss, so uh, they just got the worst of it. And I mean, they, they did a great job of trying to come out and trying to give us a run for our money at the beginning, but uh, we stuck to our game plan and we just, we just had to move on from, from Thursday and got back, got back going today. I mean, it was great. Uh, we knew coming in, you know, everybody was going to, you know, be looking at us, trying to see what we're going to do, how we're going to respond after a loss. Um, so we knew it was going to have to stick together. Everyone's going to have to dig in and be more focused on the offensive and defensive end. Um, and, you know, we wanted to, to get out early, get out to a good lead and not have to, you know, have this, uh, put it in the ref hands at the end of the game and have it t to be a back and forth affair. Um, so it's just great having everyone in the game, the coaching staff, um, the starters and the bench. Um, everyone contributed and, uh, you know, that's what we're going to need down the road for us to be a, a great team. Uh, I, hate, I hate coming out of the game uh, without a assist personally. So I kind of took it upon myself to try to uh, get Dante going, get Jawan going, get uh, everybody else going first. And um, they was making shots tonight, so I kept trying to feed them because they're going to do the same thing for me. So it was kind of a personal thing just knowing that I ain't really had no assist the other night. And I just wanted to come out and just try to make sure my teammates was involved.